mimi ni mkazi wa Kirenyaga mahali naitwa Gedhule na niko na mtoto ako kia mgumu ameambiwa azipetiwa school living certificate bila kutoa shilingi 2000 na ame clear balance swali ni hii 2000 inaitizwa na shule ni abure inaitizwa ya kasi gani kwa shule ni and development ama ni ya mwalimu ama ni ya watu gani kuna masomo ya bure hiyo miaka imetangazwa ni ya bure hiyo hata inamalizia na walimu kwa sababu watoto wanafukuzwa juu ya school balance alafu kule tunaambiwa mtu kama mtoto aende shule eh mzazi ndiye atastakiwa kila shule itoe fee structure na hii structure si kusema ate ingine ni ya kununua basi ingine ni ya development ingine ni ya wapi na shule ni ya... Mr Benjamin the video you just saw was some parents we interacted with and they said free education in prime in public primary and secondary school is a narrative and not a reality what is happening on the ground based on your observation perhaps is education free is it a narrative Okay thank you Beatrice thank you for that question um that's an interesting question <laughs> Well, I will give that answer, uh, not a straight answer. I'll say yes and no. In the sense that, yes, the government is topping uh, the, the capitation grant, the 24,244, uh, as you said, but the parents have to top up. You know, it's not absolutely free, uh, but the government uh, gives that, uh, you know, relief by, by that capitation uh, policy. Uh, to each uh, primary and uh, secondary school public child. So that's why uh, the, the, that uh, video, you can see the parent really saying it's a narrative. To me, yes, it could appear like a narrative, but it's, it's a yes, it's, it's, it's a yes and no. Um, the, 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 what I can say is that uh, recently, there are also presidential task force which recommended addition, addition of this uh, capitation per, per child. I think that will solve this. But from 2003, as you rightly said, the education, free education policy and later, free primary education policy and later 2008, free secondary uh, education, they, they were meant to really uh, somehow give relief, but not really absolutely pay everything uh, as far as fees is concerned. That's why uh, that parent is really raising that issue. Um, and, and so if, if the amount could be increased, I think then it will be more affordable. Ideally, the initial uh, aim of the government, as you read earlier, was actually to increase retention and, and also uh, increase performance. And I would say the government has achieved this to some extent. If you look at a case, for example, uh, Nairobi County, currently the pre-primary uh, retention rate is around 99%. Primary stands at 90%. And secondary is at 95% retention rates. So this has some impact, but somehow it could be better if the figure could be increased. Thank you. Thank you. And